Hello everyone, I am Jasmine Medel Sadeño, a student nurse from BSN 111B Group 6. And today, I am going to perform the medical hand washing technique. Now before we start, make sure that the equipments are complete. So the equipments that we need is a bar soap or you can use a liquid soap, a towel or a, hand, or a tissue paper. So I am going to use a towel or a clean handkerchief here because unfortunately I don't have any tissue paper at the moment. Next is the sink with running water and a lotion but it is only optional. Um, but it, is, it will definitely help your skin to prevent hangnails and crack dry skin. So before, we, before, be, before doing the procedure, make sure to assess the hands first. So check if, if the fingernails are short because um, short nails are less likely to harbor microorganisms, scratch a client or puncture or damage the gloves. Next is to check if you have wounds or cuts in your hands. And if you have, um, make, uh, you may ask your clinical instructor to change your work assignment or you can wear a gloves for, for protection. So as you can see, I have short nails and my hands have no wounds and cuts. Next is to remove all jewelry because microorganisms can lodge in the settings of jewelry. So I have here my bracelet so I have to remove it. So now that we are done preparing and assessing, we can now proceed to the procedure. So stand in front of the sink and keeping your hands and uniform away from the sink surface. So the uniforms should not touch the sink to avoid contamination. Next is to turn on the water and adjust the flow. Be careful not to splash any water in the uniform because splashing any water in uniform may result to contamination. So hold the hands lower than the elbow so that the water flows from the arms to the fingertips. So our goal here is the water should run from the least contaminated to the most contaminated area. So um, the hands are more contaminated than the lower arms. So now I am going to use the bar soap and lather it thoroughly. And before returning the soap, make sure to rinse it to remove all the microorganisms from the lather. Now thoroughly wash the hands using firm rubbing and circular movements to um, wash the palm, back, and the wrist of each hand. Now interlace your fingers and rub the palms using the back of your hand for at least 5 times each. Next is to rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Next is to rub the back of the fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Now rub each thumb clasped in opposite hands using rotational movement. Next is rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers, like this. Lastly, rub each wrist with opposite hands. Now rinse thoroughly with the use of running water and inspect the remaining dirt or soap. Make sure to avoid touching the sink with your uniform and be careful not to splash any water to your uniform. Now after that, dry your hands using a towel from fingers to the wrist. 
So spread the towel and make part it in two sides. So here, I am going to use the upper part for my right hand, while my right hand and my while my left hand is at the bottom, which is the key part. So notice that I am drying the hands from the fingers and the wrist without going back. Now I am going to use the other hand. We'll, uh, I will use the lower part of the towel to dry my left hand in the same manner as I did for, with my right hand. Now before discarding the towel, I will use it to turn off the faucet so that I will not contaminate my hands again. And then discard the towel. So after that, apply lotion and you're done.